Hello friends, today we are going to discuss benzylic acid rearrangement. It is the conversion of 1,2-diketone into alpha-hydroxy carboxylic acid. For this transformation, 1,2-diketone is first treated with alkali hydroxide to get salt of alpha-hydroxy carboxylic acid which after acidic workup gives alpha-hydroxy carboxylic acid. It is so called benzylic acid rearrangement because it was first absorbed by Justice von Liebig in 1838 that treating 1,2-diphenylethane-1,2-dione also called benzyl with hydroxide gave after acidic workup 2-hydroxy-2,2-diphenylacetic acid which is also called benzylic acid. To draw the benzylic acid rearrangement product, just draw a carbon and then to it attach a hydroxy group, a carboxylic group and then R1 and R2. Mechanism of benzylic acid rearrangement. Here we will take benzyl as a typical example for the mechanism. Hydroxide ion attacks on one of the two carbonyl groups to produce tetrahedral intermediate which undergoes 1,2-diphenyl migration like this to produce a non-isolable species. Here we call this species as non-isolable because alkoxide ion is more basic than carboxylate ion. So there will be immediate proton transfer to produce carboxylate ion of benzylic acid which after protonation during acidic workup will produce benzylic acid. Now let's have few more examples of benzylic acid rearrangement. 1,2-difuranyl-ethane-1,2-dione. In this example R1 and R2 are furanyl groups. So after benzylic acid rearrangement it will give product with a carbon attached to two furanyl groups, a hydroxyl group and a carboxylic group. One 4-aminophenyl, 2-phenyl, ethane, 1,2-dione. Here R1 is phenyl and R2 is aminophenyl. So the product formed after benzylic acid rearrangement will have a carbon attached to aminophenyl phenyl, hydroxyl group and carboxylic group. Phenanthrene quinone. This can be treated as a benzyl in which the two aryl groups are connected through a single one. Thus, in the product formed after benzylic acid rearrangement, these two residues will be attached to a carbon having a hydroxyl group and a carboxylic group attached to it. Benzylic acid rearrangement is also observed in aliphatic 1,2-dione system but generally with low yield because of competing aldol condensation. The examples are cyclohexane 1,2-dione to 1-hydroxy cyclopentane carboxylic acid. Conversion of cyclobutane 1,2-dione to 1-hydroxy cyclopropane carboxylic acid. Conversion of ketopenic acid to citric acid. This is the last example where tetramethyl cyclohexene dione is converted to hydroxy tetramethyl cyclopentene carboxylic acid. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much.